Today we are going to talk about lithophane and then I will show you how I added my own twist on them. Make sure you stay until the end of the video, there is a big announcement. Back in the time, lithophane were so known around Western Europe. They were made from ceramic and they are brought back to life with 3D printers. As you see, it worked by variating the thickness of the plastic. More thick mean less light, less thick mean more light. And we need a backlight to be able to see it. Light, no light, light, no light. There is mainly two websites to help you to convert your photos to lithophane printable STLs. Lithophane Maker and 3DP Rocks. I will show you how to do it on 3DP Rocks. Drag and drop your picture here. You can choose the shape you want. There is flat, inner curve, outer curve, solid cylinder. I mostly use flat or outer curve. Then go to options. Here you can change the size of the picture. I like to add a border of 3 mm. You don't have to change anything in here. Then go back to model, refresh and download. If you have a well-tuned 3D printer, you don't have to change anything in Cura. Nevertheless, I will share with you my 3D printing profile. What you need to do is to put four wall line contour and bring down the speed a little bit. Active combing mode. Turn off the support in Cura. And this is pretty much it. Let's sprint. As awesome as it is, it is not a final product. It barely stands and we need a stable light source from the behind in order to see it. So I decided to go one step further and make some stands to make it usable in everyday life. First, I want to show you my cactus pot. So let's go to Fusion. It is basically three lithophane pictures held between the top and the bottom pieces. And there is these little hangers. I will put the LED strip on them. I made sure, in the case of spilling water, the water doesn't interact with the electric in the bottom. So the water will be spilled in the middle, through the central hole. Then I decided to mix it up and design something with Katia V5. This time I made one picture stand powered by this rechargeable battery. I put it this micro USB port to be able to charge it with a generic phone charger. The electric circuit is very simple. We link the battery to the LED and then we add the charger in parallel. And remember, all the positive links together and all the negatives links together. I needed a flat for sale battery for this stand and all what I have is a square one. So I thought that I can cut the plastic cover and flatten it up. I don't recommend to do that. It turned out the four cells are molded together with a secondary plastic cover. Surprisingly, the battery poles are not just at the extremities of the cells. The south pole is wrapped around the battery. When I tried to take it apart, I made a short circuit and the cells start smoking. Finally, I managed to tape them back together. Okay, let's assemble these stands.
What about using a candle as a light source? Muy romántica. I think Lithofen are great to remember your precious moments, to remember your family and friends, to let it be accessible to everyone. I am happy to pronounce that I created a Facebook shop called Our Bright Souvenirs. You can just go there and you will find all these products. You can choose your favorite product and then send me your pictures in a message. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. That would help me a lot. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.